Okay, so Ben found these really cool caterpillars on our parsley plant and we identified them with the help of the internet as a black swallowtail butterfly caterpillar. So we're gonna grab one of these little guys, a couple more down there, and we're gonna check them out on a really cool piece of scientific equipment called a stereo microscope. I'm sure you could raise this. It's a black swallowtail caterpillar. And it looks very similar to a monarch caterpillar. So this is a stereo microscope and it's like a microscope that doesn't zoom in super closely, but I'm gonna try and get a cool view of this little caterpillar so everybody can see it. Okay, this is an image up close of this little swallowtail caterpillar through the lens of our stereo microscope. It's a little hard to keep the camera on it properly. Wow, why is that so hard? Yeah. It's pretty cute. Yeah, it is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you have to get it like lined up just perfect. Just a little further away up there. Oh, he just like tipped over. <laughs> that is so cute. I think I'm gonna some... bring him back. Okay. And bring him back outside? Oh. <laughs> really? Is he gripping it really good? Yeah. Okay. We'll carry him back out there and put him on a new piece of parsley. He pretty much ate all the leaves off that one anyway. Come on. Yeah. Just be really gentle with it. Yeah. See, Mom? Here. I'm going to put it on you. Oh. Okay. Ah, let go of me! He's like, no, you're my friend. I'm never going to let go. Now tip your hand upside down and see what happens. I'm scared to drop him. Seems like he's kind of on there. Let's just bring him back to the parsley. Here, let me take him. Okay. See, look. Okay. Yeah. See, look how horrible. And put this little guy back on the parsley. Get on my hand. Okay. okay. Just put him somewhere back on there. There's a couple other of these guys. That one's about his size. And then this is like a, a younger swallowtail caterpillar. It was like pretty much all black just a couple days ago. Here. Okay, are you sure that we shouldn't put this caterpillar poop leaf under the microscope? No. Why not? Oh, all poop spilled off. Okay, fine. The child's like, what is going on here? What are they so interested in? Parsley? I put three. Parsley? Why I do you guys like parsley? Caterpillars right by them. <laughs> so they're all. Good. Oh, you put them all together? Yeah, see? Yeah. So well, hopefully one of them doesn't chew the leaf off and drop the other ones. Hey, this is really interesting. Okay, Ben, we got to do this under the stereo microscope. What? Look at that. It's like either a dead caterpillar or it molted its skin once. It looks like molted skin. Let's take this whole leaf in. Yeah. We're going to put it under the stereo microscope. Yeah, it's just really hard there. You can kind of see it. It doesn't focus that well on the phone, but it's really easy to see under this really sweet microscope. I think later we should look at some rocks. What do you think? Okay, this is really weird. That thing we found on the leaf definitely seems to be a molted caterpillar skin. Yeah. I'm trying to get an image. You can see its little feet and everything. Okay, so that is like a molted skin. Of a caterpillar. Yeah, of a caterpillar. You can see its little feet? I'm going to do a zoom in image. A cool too. scientific tool, the stereo microscope. You see that little blotch? You can kind of tell it's caterpillar skin. It turns in to this and you can definitely tell it's caterpillar skin including its little feet it's so hard to stay zoomed in through the lens though oh, no. right, we should keep that specimen that's really cool a little caterpillar hopefully the leaf kind of stays intact as it dries out huh 